Are Noblars any good in patch 5.0? I have no idea if this will be one of my worst performing videos ever, but I want to make this clear. There is an art to using trash. Are Noblars trash? Yes. Not only are they explicitly expendable and meat shields, they're actually used by ogres as a source of meat. Are they useless? Hell no! Recruited for 250 gold and 63 upkeep default, Noblars on Ultra Size have 160 entities with 8,960 health between them for 56 health per entity. The standard Empire Swordsman only has 69 health per entity. Armor here is 15, Leadership a mere 45, Speed 35 which is slightly nimble, Shard Speed 41. Melee attack begins at 18 with an attack interval of the standard 4. There is no splash damage by Noblars, but of course they are very vulnerable to it. Melee defense begins at 26. Note this is 8 better than their melee attack, a shockingly decent number considering their lowly mass infantry nature. Weapon strength comes at 21, split between 17 base and 4 armor piercing, so while they do less damage than most melee troops, and it is pathetic against armor, it's actually not bad against low armored foes. Charge bonus is 6 and mass is 19. The unit can hide in forest and has the expendable trait, so only other expendable units are shaken by Noblar's routing. In the Redline Lord skills, Scrappy Fighters causes all Noblar units to have plus 6 leadership and plus 6 melee defense, which raises even ranked 0 rookies to 51 leadership and 32 melee defense. Of course, few lords will spec into this, but it is possible. Rank 7 Noblars can benefit from richly rewarded, granting plus 10 armor, plus 6 leadership, and plus 12% weapon strength. In the tech tree, there is precious little affecting Noblars directly, with the most notable being Scrap Collectors, reducing Noblar upkeep by 50%. However, even my brief brushes with Ogre campaigns established there are some major events and ancillaries, like Noblar Prosthetics, minus 30% upkeep and minus 50 recruitment cost for a period of time, and Noblar Chieftain, granting recruit rank plus 4 for Noblar units. So how do you use Noblar units? Well, I'm going to be as plain as I can about this. If you're fighting Gorst, you spam them against his vast zombie and skeleton units and trade scrap for scrap, pinning them in place and making life much easier for your spellcasters if you have any, which, eh, you really should. I had a Beast Lord caster get 72,000 damage against a Gorst faction army with a Noblar heavy force. If you don't have to rely on Noblars to actually kill the enemy, but pin it for burning head spells and the like. They're worth far more than their 63 upkeep would suggest. In other words, the expendable part isn't really the point. The Noblar's base 26 melee defense is 100% equal to the 26 MD of Ogre Bulls, but there's 160 Noblars versus 24 Ogre Bulls. Noblars have the superior unit health. Noblars are slower and weaker, sure, but if your problem is being nickel and dimed to death, Noblars absorb those blows a lot more easily than your bulls, and certainly you prefer that the Noblars take the hits. This means that the Noblars are flat out tankier, and in terms of being an anvil, that's what you want for them. Also, well, forests make it hard for most large entities, so Noblars can fight in forests at full strength, such as it is. Point is, Noblars should take the punishment from the front because that's what they're there for. Yeah, in principle, it's nice to just have armies filled with ogres, but having Noblars to distract degrade, pin down, slow down, just plain tarpet the hell out of your foes makes the other stuff you're trying to do more acceptable, and yes, more to the point, Noblars are dirt cheap and only get dirt cheapier if you have special events going. A camp could have a stack of 19 of them at ridiculous upkeep levels like, let's say, 8 upkeep per unit. I mean, of course, you'd rather camps have other better things ready to sortie for war, but Noblars can be recruited from the lowliest regular settlement. The availability cannot be beaten. So that's how you use Noblars. They really are expendable meat shields and meat stats, but for raw tar pitting the foe, it's difficult to find something more apt, and tar pitting is something ogres can exploit. It's not complicated, but it also isn't immediately obvious to the frontline bulls. The tyrants know better. Noblars have their place. Take care, and have fun counter tarp hitting gorse zombies while casting Flock of Doom every 25 seconds. 72,000 damage with a rank 6 caster lore took a while, but hey, the zombie hordes felt it.